Hi, this is Alice um, with uh, Alice Hendon Art Tangleology. I'm an artist ambassador for Lita Art Supply, and they are trying out beta testing a new product that they may have coming out uh, available in the near future. And Gary was kind enough to send me one to look at, so let's do a box opening on it. The only thing I've done is to cut open the box so I actually get to it to do this. I haven't looked at what's inside at all. So I am going to be surprised just like you are. And I'm going to occasionally stare at my camera here to make sure I've got this <laughs> centered so you can see it. Um, what we have is a really nice, looks like a real sturdy quality black case. Uh, totally enclosed with a zipper to keep your product inside so none of it falls out which is a good thing. Uh, I live in Maine where we right now have about three feet of snow on the ground and it's slippery and icy outside. So a zipped up pouch to keep my supplies inside is a wonderful thing. And opening up and it looks like I have that centered in there where you can see there's some really awesome things in here. Uh, a little carry strap, which is nice. Um, a new Baby Lita, which is really awesome because mine is almost full. I just ran across the room to grab mine. You can see I've used it a lot. Um, almost every page in this book is full. I have all kind of artwork in here. So I really, I, I, that's nice and it's small enough to carry with you. Um, I do a lot of traveling. This would be a good set to be able to take in an airport. Um, there are 12 different um, graphite pencils in here, ranging from a 2 to H to an H, HB. Um, I'm not real good with numbers on pencils. I apologize for that, that I can't explain that more to you. But I know that that is a great range of pencils graphite and these i'm really excited to try right here charcoal pencils i don't have any charcoal pencils i've never used one so i'm really excited to try this out i think this is going to be great for shading on the zentangle art that i do um they ha it comes in a soft a medium and a hard i'm really excited to be able to use those and try those out Um, I didn't see this to start with. This is a Graphite Soft 6B. I'm thinking I would be able to use that also for shading. Looks very similar to a woodless pencil that I already have, um, which I love and use all the time, so that's a good possibility there for that as well. That is a nice range of pencils right there that I could do a lot of things with. Okay, and then on this side, I don't have the vaguest idea what this is, so let's look at it and see. Um, <laughs> there are openings on the each end, so I'm assuming I stick something in there. Honestly, don't have a clue what this is. I apologize for that. Gary, I'm going to need some help on this one, buddy. I don't know what this is for. I'm assuming something goes in here. So maybe like when it gets, when your pencil gets down to the nub and you want to use every last little bit of lead, possibly that's what that is for. And I've shoved that, there we go. It's larger on one side, which would make sense because these pencils are a little bit more, uh, a little larger than these. So I'm assuming that is to put your pencils in when you are down to the bare nubs and you don't want to waste anything. But don't hold me accountable for that because I'm not sure that's what that is. I'll pull this out this direction. Um, an X-Acto knife with a serious sharp blade on it. That looks pretty incredible. Uh, retractable. I like that. I could totally, with this clip on the back, clip it on my book if I wanted to. Um, that's pretty cool the way that works. You can use just a little or do a lot. I like that too. 
Um, these, some people call these blenders uh, in the Zentangle world, which is the kind of art I do, we call them tortillons. And you use these with the pencils um, when we shade different things, different designs, and we use either probably the charcoal now that I have that or the pencils. Once you lay your pencil line down, you use this to blend it together and it gives a 3D look to your artwork. I'm sure like this right here in the, the round part of this. I put my pencil lines down first then used a tortillon to bring up the shading on that. In this piece right here, you can see along the edges of that design, which is called changing. But that's what those torts are for. You can really see it well on this one on my narwhal design, the way I put the pencil down. And then I would use this in little circular motions to blend that shading. And I like that this comes with three different sizes because you can see that this is a little, possibly a little overkill for some of the areas, like this little tiny area up here. But this little tiny one would be perfect for uh, blending my shading up there. So it's nice that that comes in three sizes. Let's see, a kneadable eraser. I do not own one of these and I have been wanting one, so I'm glad that's in here. This is a kind of eraser I normally use, a white vinyl eraser, because when you, when you erase with this, it doesn't leave color on your artwork. Like some, like pencil erasers, sometimes if you use those, it will leave color on your artwork. This doesn't, but I hear that this is better and I've not used one before. I don't own one of these, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. See what these are. Um, little sticks of, I'm assuming, charcoal like these. And I'm saying that because they come in soft, medium, and hard. Like the charcoal pencils did. So I'm assuming these are sticks that you would use. Possibly if you were going to do a larger area or some an area where you wanted to use something flat. I'm guessing that would work for that. I'm not honestly sure what this is either, and I apologize for that. Um, there, I do not see anything in this kit that explains what these things are. Um, Gary, that might be... A suggestion to have something that would explain what these items are okay this is going to be the charcoal thing right here because I've got it on my hand now these are going to be charcoal sticks and I'm guessing these other ones are going to be graphite sticks like the um, woodless pencil I use that's what those are going to be I do recognize this because I have one of these and I love it it is a little block of sandpaper that you can use to sharpen your pencils. I leave my little flap on here. I don't tear it off all the way so that when I put it back up, I can close it and that way, if I stick my hand in there, I don't scrape the skin off my knuckles rubbing up against this. But you use this to sharpen the point on your pencil. That's a great addition in this kit, Gary. I like that. I really like everything about this. I would like to have some, uh, you know, if you made like a little piece that just had the names of what things were. Um, but I like the variety. I like everything in here. I know that I'll be using it all. I'm looking forward to trying the graphite, the kneaded eraser, because I've not used those before. Everything looks great, and I really, really like that it's closed up totally. If you were in a rainy place, like maybe in the state of Washington, um, in the north where there's a lot of snow and ice this time of year, and especially where I live in Maine where there's snow on the ground between six to seven months a year, because I live way, way up north in Maine, the zippered pouch is really awesome, incredible. And then the, the baby Lita. This is everything you need if you travel, if you go outside to sketch or draw. Everything you need is right in this kit. Gary, I appreciate you sending this so much. Uh, I hope this is a big seller for you. I think it will be. I'm going to totally put this on my blog and promote for you. 
thank you for entrusting me with your um, having confidence in me and entrusting me with your product. Um, this is super duper. Thank you so much.